Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today we've got a few guys is some more Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 news and information. Now in today's video we're going to be discussing the future of Call of Duty Zombies in terms of Treyarch games. Now of course we do know that Zombies will be released in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this November. We're expecting two to three maps on the disc. And then, of course, a map per map pack, which will last the whole year. Now, I did do a video a couple of weeks ago saying that it is likely that Treyarch Games will make World at War 2 when it is there next time in 2018. However, quite recently, I've been speculating to myself, just sitting here and thinking about the future of Call of Duty. And I quite simply think that Treyarch have the fan base and the momentum to make a standalone Zombies game for Call of Duty. Now, First of all, let me just back up how it would work in terms of sales, how Activision would back up the fact that they would like a standalone Zombies game. So, we know that the Zombies fan base is massive, it definitely is similar to that of multiplayer, quite a lot of people may disagree with this. But the Zombies community is growing rapidly and I think there will always be an interest uh, in Zombies. Of course, they did do the reveal of Black Ops 3 Zombies at San Diego Comic Con and that just proves the scale of Zombies. Going from something that was just an easter egg within Call of Duty to go into this massive thing that is definitely more hyped up. I definitely was more hyped for Zombies than multiplayer and I think that the fan base for Zombies will definitely generate a lot of sales for a standalone Zombies game. Now, as well as this, why would they release a standalone Zombies game as opposed to releasing a traditional Call of Duty with campaign multiplayer and Zombies for 2018? Well, quite simply, I think that a lot of remakes over the course of the up and coming years around 2017 to 2018 are going to start being released for Call of Duty in terms of a lot of different studios. We have now around eight different studios that have worked on Call of Duty titles. We've had Sledgehammer Games, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Raven Studios, uh, High Moon Studios, Beanox, and a few other different companies that have worked on Call of Duty games. And I think that Activision are going to tell those guys to start remaking some previous Call of Duties. Even Activision CEO stated that they would, that he would basically like to play old uh, games on the next generation console. So. That does indicate that there will be some remakes and now let's move on to how this would actually work in terms of, you know, the sales. So I think that every single year from 2017 to 2018, I think that they're going to change things up. I think they will start to do remakes. I also think that studios such as Infinity War, depending on their sales on next year's Call of Duty title when they will release that, will also start to integrate remasters and do remakes and stuff like that. For all we know, they could be possibly doing a Modern Warfare collection coming up next year, but we're not entirely sure on that at this moment in time. So definitely over the course of the next couple of years, I think that they will start to do remakes, which is pretty much some guaranteed sales if they do remakes such as World at War and uh, Modern Warfare 2, which had over 300,000 signatures a couple of months ago when people was requesting that as a remake. So there is definitely sales in there, and I think that Activision are going to start taking risks with Call of Duty. There is no doubt that the Call of Duty series is in decline in terms of sales for yearly releases, yearly new releases, should I say, and I think that once again Activision are going to start taking risks. Now, let's move on to how will a Call of Duty standalone game work. I think that they've already got a massive storyline in terms of the Easter eggs within current Call of Duty Zombies maps. And I see no problem with them integrating this into some kind of free world campaign mod. Now, I'm not entirely sure how it, how it will work. I'm not entirely sure if Treyarch are up for the challenge, of course. As well as Call of Duty, they've worked on Spider-Man, in which was basically a massive world. It wasn't an open world as such, but it was definitely really, really big. And uh, essentially, uh, this proves that Treyarch are good with, uh, you know, massive projects in terms of uh, a lot of buildings and a lot of scale in terms of maps and stuff like that. So I definitely think that Treyarch would be up to the challenge and I think that old maps such as Dury's uh, Shadows of Evil that will be considered an, an old map going forward to Treyarch's next Call of Duty game in 2018 and uh, Origins and stuff like that it has been proven on a number of YouTube zombie videos that all of these maps are linked and in around the same time period and uh, if I remember I'll put some links in the description to Mr. Ruffle Waffles or GX Rays and a few people like that uh, so all of these YouTubers have done videos saying that maps such as Dury's, Mob of the Dead 
Shadows of Evil and a few other maps are all integrated around the same time period and I think that's an open world in which you could visit these other maps, these maps that have already been existed would be really really cool indeed of course individual missions will get more in depth into the zombie storyline instead of just doing easter eggs every single map i think it would be better if there was just um some kind of you know uh, storyline in terms of not doing easter eggs of course there'll be a plenty of easter eggs over the map and it has been proven by games such as dying light that you know zombie games are definitely open on the market so i definitely think it is possible let me know in the comment section below i belong sensation thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video